Yoshe. Yoshe has been living in Glasgow for many years. If you heard her introduce a song in the first set, you may have wondered about her accent. It's beautiful, northern stuff. She is such a super professional. Uh, we're now going to a song on your list. Uh, it's a song that used to be done while making sake. You had to use rice. You'd put it in a big, uh, like, swimming pool full of water and at a certain time of year, you have to get the outer part of the rice off so guys would stamp on it all night long barefoot. <sighs> and they would sing a song often while they did that. So these are just two verses of about 117 verses you might have to sing to get through the night. They didn't sing all the time. And for that we're going straight into another song without a pause called Tankobushi, the coal miners dance from southern Japan. And some of us are going to dance that. You may have seen this. Every school kid in Japan used to be forced to learn this dance, so it's fairly well known among Japanese. Uh, we'll see what we can do when we try to dance it. So, Nozumi Komi, Kometogi, and then as soon as you finish two verses, we start immediately Tankobushi. No break. Okay, so get ready. And here we go. Who wants the microphone?
think the coal miners actually danced that down in the mines, but it did become a very famous local song and then dance that everyone in Japan has run across. Okay, we're hurrying through. Next is a wedding song, uh, Nagamochi Yuta it's called. And this is just one that talks about the wonderful time when you're having a wedding. And sometimes it has verses like, it's so sad to have to give our daughter away to the person in the next village, but never mind. It's still a happy song. And uh, Yoshie will be singing, and we'll have Shakuhachi help. So why don't you start playing your Shakuhachi and I'll shut up. Here we go.
our song. This is a dance called Akita Daikoku Mai. It's Daikoku is the god of wealth in Japan. So if you need money, remember his name, Daikoku. And uh, um, we have Yoshie was able to go back to Japan and get a costume that represents this particular lord, uh, Daikoku, this god of the wealth. So she is going to dance. We have only tried this with her once since we got together today. Uh, we'll see what happens. Gina will do her best to sing it. I'm saying, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm staying out of the way. Right, so who's singing? Oh, you are, of course, yeah. All right, without further ado then. Close enough. Okay. 
Okay, we finish off with Aizubandai san. There's three verses, I think, with a rap thrown in. I might have translated the rap verse for you, but it tells us about Mr. Ohara Shosuke san. It says, Ohara Shosuke san, how did he ruin his health? Well, he slept late in the morning, he drank sake in the morning, uh, and then he had a hot bath in the morning. Don't do that, except for the sake, what the heck. So that's, you know, we had to sing that at a sake party once, that was not a good idea. Drink sake all you want, just don't do it the first thing in the morning. And here comes Aizubandai song, whenever you're ready, yeah, okay. Thank you to the organizers for their patience also. Here.